have this July 1st Village Hearing to order, and I'd like to share that we are honored that we're hosting our first Board of Education meeting in the Instructional Support Center and are excited to announce that sessions will be streamed on the OCS YouTube channel. This enhancement will enable our community to watch as we engage in discussions and decisions that shape our school district and as we celebrate our students and staff. Good morning, board members and Dr. Branch. I want to remind everyone of the purpose of the hearing. The board approved the final expenditure budget and tentatively adopted a millage rate of 15 mils at the June 10th board meeting. With the release of the final tax digest, the Oconee County Schools recommends a millage rate of 14.25 mils, which is a decrease of 0.75 mils to last year's millage rate. The law requires the millage rate to be advertised as a property tax increase as a result of the assessed value of the property in our county being greater than it was a year ago. In order to not advertise as an increase, the millage rate would be no more than 13.934 mills. The board is required to hold three hearings for the purpose of listening to the public on any thoughts they may have on this matter. The first one is this morning at 10 a.m. Second hearing will be later on today, at July 1st at 5 p.m. The third meeting will be held on July 8th at 6 p.m. The final adoption of the millage rate the board deems appropriate will be on July 8th board meeting at 7 p.m. On the screen, you will see our budget calendar. The board tentatively adopted the budget on May 13th. I also want to remind the board that the required budget hearings were held on May 22nd and June 3rd prior to the final adoption on June 10th. The budget highlights for fiscal year 25 budget include a 4% inc salary increase for all OCS staff and teachers, salary step creation for years 22 through 30, health insurance, employer contribution increase, 19 new positions, new curricula, TRS Retirement Employer Contribution, and a one-time custodian supplement. The budget presentation, budget calendar, and budget docu documents are posted on Simbly with corresponding meeting dates mentioned earlier. The June 10th approved document is also posted on the school district website along with the final tax digest and hearing notice. The hearing dates and times have been posted on the school district website, social media accounts, and the legal order. <coughs> An updated budget that reflects anticipated revenue on the final tax digest and recommended millage rate of 14.25 mills is shown for your consideration. I just want to take a moment here to please note that at 14.25 mills, our estimated unassigned fund balance will be 17.8, which equates to 15.55%. Recently, through my education, I've been here over a little bit over a month now, I've learned that through the DOE that they recommend at least two months in your COFRS um, for regular operating expenses. So. With that said, which would equate for fiscal year 19 for us at 19.2 million, which is 16.8% estimated unassigned fund balance. So just want to make sure you're all aware of that. But with that said, we would all still recommend that we go with the 14.25 mills for your consideration. Other budget information is attached to these hearings and assembly and all advertisements have been published as required. And that will conclude my present explanation of the hearing unless you all have any questions for me. Thank you, 
Do I go? Good morning, everyone. We have three citizens signed up to speak this morning. Before I introduce them, I'll read this. The board allows three minutes for those who sign up at the meeting. You must be a current resident of Oconee County to address the board. Please state your name, address, and topic. The board requests that you refrain from making any disparaging remarks about school system personnel. Generally, there will be no response to comments or questions posed by citizens at the meeting. All comments and questions will be received and taken under advisement by the board. However, any member of the board shall be free to respond and make public comments if he or she elects to do so. Our first citizen is Jean Barsanti. Good morning. As he said, my name is Jean Barsanti. I've been an Oconee County resident since 1976. My issue is the millage rate, of course, that's what the meeting is about, so thank you for holding it. During my time here, I've paid consistently increasing school taxes. I don't have a child or grandchildren in the Oconee County Public Schools, but I don't oppose paying school taxes in general as I support public education. I do object to extravagant spending that has nothing to do with quality education, such as the cupola on this building, which you obviously are proud of because you put it on your slides at the beginning, as well as fake chimneys. They don't have anything to do with public education. I wonder about the cost of that desk that separates you from us. Doesn't seem to have anything to do with public education. I wish you could live within the budget, the initial budget, and reduce the millage rate further, just like the Board of Education Commissioners did and the Watkinsville City Council did. You should do the same, in my opinion. To not lower the millage rate strongly indicates that you really aren't fiscally conservative Republicans, but rather spend and tax politicians. I do appreciate what you do for the schools. I just wish you were more fiscally responsible. Thank you. Our next citizen is Susanna Heimel. Um, okay, as you probably know, I did an open records request uh, at the beginning of, of last month for the line item of the proposed adopted budget. I received a re response that said no records responsive, and I, I'm assuming that that has been remedied and maybe up on the website at this point. I don't know. I haven't checked. Do we have a line item? I can't see that. Oh, that's right. You're not going to answer my questions. Okay. Anyway, I would hope that that's up there. Also, I wanted to talk about the budget interest. Um, on the actual budget, you've got the very top local interest income, general fund, revised fund, you've got $50,000 showing as interest. Whereas actually the first 10 months of this year, you received over $2 million in interest uh, from this, the school investments. I'm wondering where does that money end up? Um, I don't see it budgeted, any, well, I don't have a line item budget, but um, I would think that it's already two million, over two million extra for the first 10 months. There's gonna be more in addition to that. Um, and I ask because, does it end up in a slush fund? Because obviously it, if it's on the budget, if it were, I would think that we could offset that two million in the tax increases um, that you're proposing this year and probably probably going to vote for. Um, so I would like to know where that money went, is going, number one, um, or number two. Lastly, I'd like to ask, which I've been trying to say at the end of all of these meetings, what is the purpose of the school board? I thought the purpose of the school board was just to be the watchful eye over the Board of Education, and I think many of us feel like that is not the case. Um, continual tax increases, you know, rampant spending, uh, all kinds of other things. So anyway, that, that's, I would just ask the school board to um, ask that question of themselves, and I hope that the new people who are coming in uh, actually have the, you know, the, the taxpayers' uh, best interest at heart. So, thank you. And our final citizen is Pam Hendricks. Thank you. Good morning, Pam Hendricks live at 1151 Thornwood Drive. I always like to start with a quote 
Today I have a quote from Ronald Reagan. He said, we don't have inflation because people are living too well. We have inflation because the government is living too well. And I want to say this is my first time in this new fancy dancy, I call it the Taj Mahal board office. Um, I never did hear the final cost of bringing this in. I know I think it was initially budgeted at 7.5 million or something, but at some point that had doubled. I've just never heard the final count. Um, it is nice. Uh, someone told me just 34 people work here. It seems way overbuilt. Most people say it doesn't really fit on Main Street, Watkinsville. It's too large. I can't believe the city approves it. Um, where to begin? I've got so many things I want to talk about. The first thing is I just really question, first of all, we have a one-page budget. I go to county commissioner meetings and I come to Board of Education. Y'all do a few things better than the county. The county does some things better than you. And the one thing the county does better than you is budgeting. I can tell you that. They do an excellent job of presenting new budgets. It's itemized. It's we now have one page, and it seems to me the one-page budget started with this, um, with our superintendent's tenure here. They used to be longer. We've gone back and looked at the UGA site, and now they're one page. We've brought up at every meeting this summer that that interest income of 50000 is obviously incorrect according to your own numbers. No one's bothered to change it. That just drives me crazy. It says 50000 We know it should be somewhere in the neighborhood of $2 million. The other thing that I just am really hung up on is the fact that the anticipated revenues don't equal the anticipated expenditures. Anybody knows that's basic budgeting. You're, you, you, those two numbers have to be the same. Well, in your case, the anticipated revenues are higher than the anticipated expenditures by and I may be using an old number, but by $1,673,723. What does that mean? That means that you're taking in more money than you need to spend. So you down here have this fund balance of $40 million. That shouldn't be $40 million, which I find unbelievable that it could be a round number of $40 million. I recall it being $45 million at the board retreat but it should at least be $41,673,723. That would then make those two numbers match up, and that just seems to me like basic budgeting. So um, I'm just really amazed. Um, finally, well, I'll save my comments for future hearings. Thank you. public communication.